Alright guys, welcome to my Cricut Design Space tutorial for Android. This is tutorial number one, how to start a new project. So first off, this is the home page when you open the Cricut app. And what you want to do is click on new project. And you have successfully started a new project. Now let's say you want to add some shapes and you want to change the color a lot of this stuff is going to be repeated so you don't really have you don't really have to learn much I'm going to try to keep these tutorials very short and very simple so let's say you want to you want to uh, save this project what you do is you go to the top left corner <clears throat> and you press the save that little icon next to that bird and you click it and you put the name of the project and press save now you have this saved right here okay so let's let's say you want to tweak it a little bit and you want to save this project but you don't want to save it to the original what you do is you click the save button rename it you can put shapes mini and press save as once you press save as then it will be a completely different save and you would have the original the original one too So let's say you're working on a project, right? And you're kind of moving along and you accidentally press the back button and you didn't save it. Well, don't worry too much about that. Go to new project and it will tell you to replace the canvas content and instead of pressing pr replace you press cancel and you're back at the project and now you can save if you want to uh, if you want to save another project you could rename it again and put save as and now you have three projects that you saved <clears throat> All right, so let's say you close the app, and now you're back at the main screen. How do you access your old projects? You go to all categories, go to my projects. And there you have your projects right there and you get to choose which ones you want starting with the first one that you saved you could either make it or customize it we go to customize so that we can still work on it let's say you made changes to it and you didn't like the changes you could just leave the app do not save and then when you go back into the app and get it it will go back to what you originally saved so you don't necessarily have to save uh, the progress if you're not happy with uh, what you've done don't save it so that's basically it for this tutorial um, stick around for other tutorials I'm gonna try to make a whole course on how to use this app
and it's for Android but most of the stuff correlates to Apple phones there's just some things you can't do here on this app but don't forget to subscribe and to look out for those other videos